Hi, my name is Alex Rolnick, and I'll be teaching you how to use the Monday.com to Snowflake kit within the Reverie platform. The first step in this kit is to actually go to the kits console by selecting this button on the top right of the screen. Once there, you can see the thumbnails of the kits that we provide. Hover over the Monday.com kit and select the preview button to get to the kit description. Within the kit description, you can see a description of the source, the, kit, the rivers that are available within the kit, and how to configure the kit to make it dynamic using variables. You can also see the data model diagram, as well as the data flow diagram for further information. Once you're ready to use the kit, select the Use Kit button on the top right of your screen. This will bring you to a connections portal in which you can enter in your different connections for monday.com as well as your Snowflake Data Warehouse connection. Then click Next. Once you select that, Rivery will bring you to the river console where you can see all of the rivers that were downloaded from this kit. You can see here that we have seven new rivers available, six of which are data source to target for monday.com directly to Snowflake, and the seventh being a master logic river where the orchestration of raw data to structured data exists. For the example that I'll provide today, we will be using the kit development board I've created on monday.com. This board shows sample data of different kit developments within Rivery, and as sub items, I've created a couple of the targets that are available for each of these kits. This is important because monday.com's API creates these, treats these as two different boards, a parent board and a sub items board. The kit will allow you to connect these two in the data warehouse, which I will explain in a bit. The next step to select a specific board within the kit that you want to use, go to the Monday boards river, scroll down to the board selection and select both your parent board as well as your sub item board. If you have no sub items board, all you'll need is the parent board. Once this is done, save the river and navigate back to the logic river. In this logic river, you can see the six data source to target rivers we were talking about, as well as data, as well as rivers down here to actually create the boards within Snowflake, how they're structured in monday.com. Now, once you're ready to run this, select run on the bottom of your screen and the data will be pushed to Snowflake. Now, in order to check your boards out in your data warehouse, go to Snowflake, use the first query to see the different tables that this kit created. So we have Monday underscore boards, which is just a information from each of the boards. And then we actually have our structured boards that were created through the kits um, SQL. To look at the parent board, the kit development board, we'll select this. And it, you can see here, we have the four records that we were talking about before with Facebook ads, TikTok, marketing B2C and Tableau refresh. And these sub item IDs where these sub item IDs link to our sub item ID in the sub item board. So that should be how you connect the, both the parent board and the sub item board. If you have any other, fur other further questions, don't hesitate to reach out to your Rivery contact. And I hope this helps. Thanks.